This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou and welcome to New Kilim in about 3 minutes. Review copy used. It has a solo mode. It's a game for 1-4 to four players, playing time is long, and it's a pretty complex game. You are an industrialist in Germany trying to take advantage of the latest discovery, nuclear power. Can you power the most towns and buildings? The game ends shortly after the second or third end game flag is placed, and they are placed when various conditions are met. The winner is the player with the most points at the end of the game, and you get points from tons of sources. Just look for the gold shield. Action Selection. Each turn you will use one one of these tiles to take actions. Network building. Connected networks of buildings and roads is key. Variable player powers. Each player has unique technologies shown on this sideboard. Player turn. Most actions in Nuculum target your network. A network is any set of connections in your color through rail links and buildings. On your turn you will select one of your action tiles to use. You can slot them on the top of your board to take both actions on them. Now let's look at the five main complex actions. Contract lets you select one of these four contracts and place it beside your board. You gain the placement bonus immediately. Develop lets you gain new action tiles. The first one costs the amount in coins below it, and the second one, if desired, costs two extra. The urbanize action lets you place a building in your network, paying its coin cost as shown on your board. We want to place a yellow type building, but the yellow player has placed one already, so we place in one of the red spots at an additional cost. The industrialize action lets you place either a mine or a turbine in your network, paying the cost in workers. Mines come with one uranium on them for every mine you own. Turbines take one of the available spots by a reactor. Once you have both the turbine and a mine in a row uncovered, you get the bonus between them. But you do not need to build them in order. The energize action lets you power a building. Here we will use uranium from our mine, move it to the active power plant, and use that power to flip our building over. Powered buildings give you achievement tokens and other rewards. Larger buildings will need more uranium or a lot of coal to power. Some upgrades and tiles can give you bonus power. Completing contracts gives you rewards. In this case, it lets you choose a level 1 technology. Slot that technology into your board to show it as active. Each technology will have a unique effect, and you unlock higher level technologies by taking actions with these symbols. As well as placing tiles above your board to take actions, you may place them onto the board as tracks. These will trigger actions if the tile matches the color of where it's placed. So here, green matches green, but purple doesn't match white. Place a worker on the tile and flip it. On longer connections, you gain all the actions that match. You may reclaim all your tiles on your board and collect your income up to that tile line. Then, based on your achievement points gained since you last refreshed, place a scoring marker here. If you are the first player to place in the matching colored band, you may take the green token and power up a reactor of your choice. Why would you like this game? I've heard Nuculum described as the spiritual successor to Brass and Barrage, and while I see what people are saying, it's also a very superficial statement. Nuculum is its own thing, and it's really about these action tiles you get and how to use them. The fact you have to spend action tiles to build rail links means you have very tense decisions about what actions to keep and what to give away. And while there is some interaction here with the placing of networks, you're mostly using your own money, workers, and uranium to power things. The unique technologies also elevate the game's skill ceiling, and it really is tailor-made for heavy Euro fans. Well, the best thing about this game is the action selection system. It's very clever. However, there's a lot to wrestle with to get to the fun of Nuculum. It's a bear to teach and takes an age to set up. And making poor decisions with your action tiles can take an age to recover from. Expect your first few games to be pretty rough. There's also an unforgivable printing error on the player aid here. We've already mentioned both Brass and Barrage, but the action system really reminds me of Praga Kaput Regni. And for a simpler game about power management in Germany, try Power Grid. Nuculum, it's a bit like this. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.